Isaac Newton feuded with this man, and he might have even destroyed the only known portrait of him. Isaac Newton and Robert Hooke weren't just brilliant, they were rivals who turned science into a battleground. In the late 1600s, both were members of England's Royal Society. They should have been allies. Instead, sparks flew. Newton presented his theory of light. Hooke? Not impressed. He claimed Newton was just building on his earlier work. Newton, famously sensitive, took this as a personal insult and never forgot it. Years later, Newton unveiled his theory of universal gravitation. Hooke stepped in again. I already suggested the inverse square law. Newton fired back, saying Hooke had ideas, but no proof. And Newton? He had the math to back it up. In 1675, Newton wrote to Hooke, If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Sounds nice, right? Except Hooke was short and hunched from illness. Many think Newton was throwing 17th century shade. Hooke died in 1703. That same year, Newton became president of the Royal Society. And somehow, every portrait of Hooke disappeared. Coincidence or Newton's final revenge? We'll never know. Newton may have won the fame game, but Hooke's contributions shape science just as much. Their feud is a reminder that even geniuses can be as petty as anyone else.